react so we're not reacting today clearly but i'm doing a video so will's decided he's going to start recording his live and stream videos instead of live streaming them but i like live streaming this because you can actually see my face so it's a lot better this way so i'm going to continue back off back on where we left off so let's turn my phone on put it on now drink some my beaver Oh wait, did it start from here? That's kind of annoying. I'm sweating so much. So hot. What time? I'm not sure. It's 29. 29 degrees, I think. It's really hot. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Let's so I know we have to go over this, don't we? So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Free beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. Your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or... Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Yeah. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of stuff. Like He's not gonna be a happy camper if after you dreamed him yesterday and mom was giving so him the boot. Itchy. I'm on it, partner. Oh, horrible. I can't. I hate how it has to say go downstairs. Like, why can't we just walk down the stairs? I've got still that sty. Oh, yeah, that's the one. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Yes,
Which is interesting. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I hate this garage. Garage. I don't want to call it garage. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. I promise. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. That makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. Oh, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? My butt hurt, so I need to put a pillow on my butt. My butt, my butt need to sit on a pillow because my butt hurts. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. You're the first one. Okay. okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. You just did so far my line. Oh, maps. 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Screw on that just put it on. There's at least no consequences for it. Yo, Yo Chloe! Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Go oh. see my friend Kate. Go see my friend Kate. Go see my friend Kate. Yeah. Kate is amazing, Kate is amazing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be her friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you had bored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! <sighs> I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh. <laughs> I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Kate, 
It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Nothing. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Oh, and that apropos crap means. That is so sweet. Even Victoria sign. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Why is she really tired? Because I didn't sleep last night at all. I'm just gonna leave this episode here actually. I'm actually falling asleep. Um like, comment, and subscribe guys. Bye!